Hey guys, Ryu here with another bit for Blender and this one we're going to be talking about wedge cuts. Now if I want to create a wedge cut with Blender, what I do is I use box cutter as an, an insane person would do. And you create a cut, press W and you're done, right? You can press W to flip it. You can hold control to create a perfect wedge cut, which means it's going to create a wedge cut at 45 degree angles on these lines here. And it's really easy to do, right? Now the problem starts when you want to create some really precise wedge cuts that run, for example, on an edge like this, because no matter what you do, you know, you're not going to be super accurate, right? What you could do is go to um, this um, dot tool here, the snapping dots, hold it and draw a wedge cut, press alt, and then, you know, create a wedge cut here like that and press alt e to switch from um, fast to exact solver the problem is when you apply this thing right everything looks good on paper but you know you got bollocks like these okay which is a bit of a problem so you need to fix this right well there's a cool tool with mesh motion that's, that's called wedge and it's exactly for doing these kind of cuts so when you press w and go to wedge and you can see that there's like a, a two lines being drawn on around this edge that we selected. So again, you select an edge, you press Y and you go to wedge and you can see that there's a kind of like a line being here drawn, right? So when I'm going to click and hold and move my mouse, you can see that I'm starting to draw a wedge and you can draw it either way, which is pretty cool. So you can draw it inside like this, right? Or you can draw it outside. So again, wedge, click and hold, draw and release, boom. And you got something like this. And that's perfectly, you know, manifold mesh. You don't have to do anything with it. Everything is connected, which is, you know, pretty bloody amazing. But there's more to it. So let's say that we wanted to flip it. Okay, so I didn't want to draw it on this side. I want to draw it on the other side. All you need to do is press F. It's going to flip it to the other side. If you want to have it angled, no problem. You press S and you can angle it like this, right? And then you, you know, click, hold and you cut it. Boom. Now, what you can do during the cut, you can press E to flip the face um, to be straight, but uh, you can see that the edges are changing to red, which means the face is going to be oddly angled. Okay, this one is flat, this one is oddly angled. So just be aware of that. You know, you have an option, but you're going to have a kind of a wonky face. Yeah. So, you know, cut and boom, you're done. And this is really cool because it works very well with Mesh Machine, you know, uh, Fuse Tool. So I can create a chamfer and fuse, and I can start creating really cool bevels in here with fuse, right? Um, so create really interesting, you know, forms like this with ease, okay? So uh, I would highly recommend you guys play with this tool, have fun. I use it together with uh, the box cutter wedge cut, which is really powerful. Uh, in this case, it's not maybe the perfect solution here, but, uh, you know, you can always fix this, by the way, because there is a um, loose edge here, right? So what you need to do is subdivide the edge, right? Whoa. What you need to do is subdivide the edge, okay? Which go you're going to give you this uh, dot here. Connect the dot to this one with one with, mesh mach with machine tools. And then what we can do, we could actually do something like this. Um, connect it in here and we're done. So, you know, you could always fix this and then press 3 to clean it and, you know, you're good to go. So anyway, that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid. As usual, links to all the add-ons in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.